Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm working on a charm square Christmas tree and this block was so easy to put together. I started by placing my printed fabric and I made rows of five all the way down to one in the shape of a tree. And then I started placing the background fabric around the tree. Okay, and this is what the tree is gonna look like. I'm gonna start sewing the blocks together. I placed the fabrics right sides together and sewed all my charm squares together into rows. And then I arranged the rows nicely, making sure to stagger the blocks so that they were even on both sides of the tree. I pinned the pieces in place and I sewed them together using a quarter inch seam allowance. Okay, for the top of the Christmas tree, I want to make a scarf. So, I am going to make a couple of half square triangles and make myself a friendship scarf. I placed my fabric right sides together and I drew a line diagonally on the lighter fabric. And I'm gonna sew along that line at a quarter inch on both sides of the line. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut the block open to reveal perfect little half square triangles. I cut off the dog ears and then press the blocks open. I need to end up with a 5 inch block, so I trimmed my half square triangles down to 3 inches to give myself a little extra room and then I'm gonna size the block once I'm done. But I cut 3 inch squares of these cute little half square triangles and then I went ahead and placed my pieces and sewed them together. So here's my star. The gold fabric was a little slippery, so it was hard to get the points to match perfectly, but I think it's close enough. I'm happy with it. So I'm gonna trim this block down to five inches and continue assembling my block. I thought I was done, but upon examining my tree, I noticed that I did that. I flipped this row without realizing, sewed it all together, pressed it nice and neat, and I was going to start on the border. And then I noticed it. Oh my goodness. It bothers me enough that I have to fix it, so I'm going to fix it, and I'll be right back. Once I was done fixing the tree, I went ahead and folded my block in half and trimmed the sides. I drew lines first as my guideline, and then I just trimmed the fabric. Okay, the Christmas tree is done and it looks much better. I'm happy with it, so I'm gonna start on the border. I went through my scraps and I found this red fabric. I wanna keep the border pretty simple because the tree is so busy. I do like to do fun things with my borders, but I think for this project, I'm gonna stick to a plain border. So I have two sets of this and I measured it. It will be a little more than enough, so I'm pretty happy about that. I trimmed the border fabric down to size and then I placed it right sides together with my block. And I sewed it all together using a quarter inch seam allowance and then I trimmed the ends and squared up my block. And here is the finished product. Oh my god, it's so cool. I love it. Thanks for checking out my video, guys. See you in the next one.